Hello there. In this video I'd like to tell you about chess match between Lev Poligayevsky and Rashid Nezhmadinov at Soviet Union Championship in Sochi, 1958. Grandmaster Lev Poligayevsky was a Soviet chess player and a frequent contender for the World Championship, although he never achieved that title. He was one of the strongest players in the world from the early 1960s until the late 1980s, as well as a distinguished author and opening theorist whose contributions in this field remain important to the present day. Rashid Nezhmadinov was a Soviet chess player, chess writer, and checkers player. Though he never attained the title of Grandmaster, he was a renowned tactician and created several brilliant games. Nezhmadinov was a fierce, imaginative, attacking player who beat many of the best players in the world. Known for his committal and his aggressive, forward-moving playing style, he was occasionally referred to by the nickname No Reverse Gear Rashid. Nezhmadinov won a number of games against world champions such as Mikhail Tal, against whom he had a lifetime positive score, and Boris Spassky. Now let's look at the board. Poligayevsky started the game with d4, then knight to f6, c4 and d6. This opening is called Old Indian Defense. Knight to c3, and Nezhmadinov played quite an uncommon move, pawn to e5. After the game, he said, black usually chooses such a move order so as to avoid the difficult Samish system. Lev played e4, which is slightly inaccurate, because Rashid captured pawn on d4, Lev took it back with the queen, and then Nezhmadinov played knight to c6 with tempo. Poligayevsky moved queen to d2, Rashid played pawn to g6, preparing to fianchetto his dark square bishop. Pawn to b3, with the same idea, then bishop to g7 and bishop to b2. Nezhmadinov castled kingside, then bishop to d3 and knight to g4, with idea to play pawn to f5 later on. Poligayevsky replied with knight to e2, which was a mistake, and Rashid decided to start an attack and played queen to h4, attacking pawn on f2. The best reply here is simply pawn to g3, but maybe Poligayevsky didn't want to weaken white squares on kingside, and played knight to g3, blocking the queen. Knight to e5, castle, and pawn to f5. Then pawn to f3 to support pawn on e4, bishop to h6, attacking the queen. Poligayevsky retreated his queen to d1, then pawn to f4, attacking the knight, knight to e2, knight to d5 and pawn to g4. Poligayevsky found the only good move, which is pawn to g3, attacking the queen and preventing black to further push his f-pawn. Nezhmadinov captured f-pawn, which is slightly inaccurate, and at this point Stockfish says that black gradually lost his initiative, and positions are equal. Poligayevsky captured it back with h-pawn. Queen to h3, with idea of capturing pawn on f3. Pawn to f4, and here Nezhmadinov found a great move, which is bishop to e6. Poligayevsky moved bishop to c2, Rashid played rook to f7, preparing to double his rooks and aiming to strike on f-file. Lev decided to evacuate his king from kingside, and played king to f2, queen to h2 check, king to e3. Nezhmadinov captured knight on d5, c pawn to d5, knight to b4, putting pressure on bishop and here the best move for white is pawn to a3, letting black to capture the bishop, but instead Poligayevsky played rook to h1, attacking the queen, which is a blunder, and Nezhmadinov played a brilliant move. You can pause the video and try to find it. The move is rook to f4, giving away the queen. Poligayevsky had to capture the queen, rook to f3 check, king to d4, bishop to g7, threatening pawn to b5 and knight to c6 checkmate. Poligayevsky could prevent it with knight to c3, but instead played pawn to a4, which is a blunder, because now it's made in 8 moves. Pawn to c5 check, capture, b pawn captured c pawn, bishop to d3, knight captured the bishop with discovery check, king to c4, d5 check, pawn trade, king to b5, rook to b8 check, king to a5, knight to c6 check, and here, one move before checkmate, Poligayevsky resigned. Rashid Nezhmadinov ended up winning the tournament, and Poligayevsky said, I understand I was to say goodbye to all hope, 
and that I was losing a game that would be spread all over the world. I must have beaten him a dozen times but I would trade them all for this one game. That's it for today, I hope you enjoyed that video, and see you in the next one.